I cannot stress the importance enough of a good plan. When you're planning, and especially this goes to men, uh, men of vision uh, and work ethic, all of that is irrelevant if you don't have a good plan. We always talk about a good five and 10 year plan. If you are looking to do anything, whether it's business, family, homesteading, uh, I don't care what it is, you gotta have a good plan in place. Now, do plans always go to, you know, exactly the way you laid it out? Of course not. I mean, I've experienced things in life uh, during the past, eight years doing my 10 year plan uh, that has thrown me off a year uh, things didn't go quite as I expected but I thank the father that he didn't stifle me to the point where I could not move forward I could not progress still and life is going to happen there's going to be hiccups in life there's going to be setbacks in life there's going to be roadblocks in life there's going to be things um that, that's going to happen. And that's okay. That's just a part of life. However, you still have to have a good plan. Uh, realistic planning is key. Uh, you know, I see over and over again how you talk to people and they have this plan, but it, it's not based in any kind of social economic reality. And I always tell people again, you have to take into consideration external factors. People think that they live in this bubble. Uh, that they don't even have to look at or take into consideration any kind of external economic factors that are in play. And that can burn you as well. Because there are things that are in your control and things that are outside of your control. And for the things that are outside of your control you don't necessarily have to worry about, but you have to take them into consideration uh, because there's certain things that you can shield yourself from. I'll give you a perfect example. Uh, food prices are going up. Gas prices are going up. Uh, how's the cost of living and stuff is going up? How can you protect yourself? How can you hedge yourself against those factors? Well, if food prices are going up, I think you should be storing some food. I think you should be uh, learning how to raise uh, some animals, uh, hunt, tend to a garden, because that's going to deeply uh, hedge yourself against those factors. But if you don't do that, uh, then you're going to put yourself and your family in a precarious situation as to where you're going to be dependent on others or starve to death. Uh, that's a good example. Hey, if inflation is taking place, what can you invest in that's going to hedge yourself against inflation? That's why I always say real assets, real commodities, uh, these are things that you can take into consideration because they're external factors that you cannot control. You know, it's amazing to look back eight years, right? And to look at people now, that's the interesting thing. To look at people now, uh, what did they accomplish? What are they doing? Uh, and this is why I always hold the notion or the example of forget what I may feel about what somebody else may do. What about what they've said out of their own lips? And you see people in the same rut that they were in five, six, seven, ten years ago. Um, there's certain people that you look back and you see uh, that they've grown, they've developed, they've grown in life, they've grown in initiative, they've, they've grown in knowledge and understanding, and their life represents it. Then you look back at people uh, from three, five years ago, nothing about their life has changed. Nothing about their character has changed. Nothing about their social economic status has changed. It's like looking at them uh, five years ago, eight years ago, 
There's people that I, I you know, I, I, I look at, and it's like, damn, you in the same rut? Um, I thought you were supposed to be building a homestead. I thought you were supposed to be on community. I thought you were supposed to be doing this or that, building a business. Uh, and nothing about them, you know, it's amazing how you can have people uh, living four or five families in one house for seven, eight years deep. That clearly shows you the lack of financial management and poor leadership that these people uh, have. I mean, it's right there. I mean, this ain't, this ain't, uh, 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 this is factual information when you look out. And it clearly shows who these people should have been listening to and who they were or who they were listening to and didn't apply the knowledge, wisdom, understanding. It's amazing how you got people, I, you know, I, mean, I look at it, you know, uh, you know, poor leadership is just so clear as day. Uh, it's sad, but you got to have a realistic plan. You got to go through the trials and tribulations, but people, they're, they're stuck in their current ways. It's just the age old saying. Um, uh, a slave in this change is chains uh, why, why break a person that loves their change they love they, they, they love their slavery leave them right where they are but you can see it because hey again I say three five years and it's, and it's amazing how fast this year is just going by boom spring summer already just before New Year, spring, summer, before you know it, fall, before it's, it's gone. And people are in the same rut that they've been in for years. And one thing, you know, people can lie all day. They can lie all day, they can front all day. But one thing that they can front, they can't front and lie about is results. That's one thing that nobody can lie about. See, your choices of decision and your picks uh, and who you choose to be around you. Um, it's going to show if, evidently to, to see if you were operating in the spirit of truth or you were operating in the spirit of error. If you had the spirit of discernment or you didn't have the spirit of discernment. It's always going to show. Always going to show. And that's what people can't hide behind. They can twist, warp, and distort uh, decisions, choices that they've made and, and, and shit blow up in their face and and, and they want to explain things away, but, uh, you know, only an idiot, you, you know, will fall for that stuff. No, no. There's certain areas in which, hey, you make good choices and decisions and others are bad. Some can be uh, a slap on the wrist where, you know, hey, man, you know, a good lesson learned. But then other things can be extremely detrimental. You know, uh, you know, I tell a story, and I'm looking forward to telling to my, my telling my son this story about his, his his grandfather on his mother's side, because it's so critical uh, uh, about being careful of the company that you keep. And it's sad how this man ended up uh, twisted, dying alone in the hospital because uh, you took the bullet of somebody else, uh, and you paid the ultimate price. It, it, you know, it's one thing to just go out. It's another thing to uh, uh, be paralyzed from the neck down and, and 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 shrivel up and die in an old folks home, uh, in a state-run old folks home, uh, with nobody around you uh, to love you and to be there for you. It's sad, but hey, you know, they, all of these choices and decisions have consequences. Uh, you got to recognize that. You got to understand that. You got to absorb that. Uh, and know uh, that, uh, you know, poor planning, uh, poor associations will always lead to poor outcomes and good associations and good planning, uh, in spite of hiccups, will always lead to good outcomes. And you know how you know? Look at the proof. Look at the results. See, a lot of people, they want to sidestep the results. They want to explain away the results when the results are right there, right in your face. Plan and plan accordingly. Uh, plan realistically and you will get ahead.